Before we get into today's video, we are coming to a city near you this summer. Tickets are now available for Calgary, Montreal, and Toronto. This is available to any of our fans and subscribers who have wanted to meet us. This will be a blast of an evening with food, drinks, fun activities, a ton of special guest creators across the Canadian finance sphere. We are so excited to meet some of you guys for the first time. If you haven't got your tickets, there's links down below. See you very soon. Now let's get to the video. So you're a Canadian that wants to buy US stocks. Luckily for you, this is an extremely straightforward thing to do. And today we're gonna to be going over five simple methods on how to do that. The objective in pretty much all of these scenarios is getting our Canadian dollars into US dollars within our brokerage account so that we can then go out and buy a US stock on a US exchange, okay? The first is definitely the most simple of the bunch. And I'm just gonna say, pay the conversion fee, okay? That's CX or CV, conversion fee. Most Canadian brokerages will charge a fee in the range of 1.5 to 2%, they all do vary, to help you convert your dollars. And in fact, in many cases, this will actually be done automatically. So I'll give you the example of with Quest Trade, which a lot of our you know, viewers in Canada here may use. If you have a TFSA with Quest Trade and I put in $10,000 of Canadian dollars into the account, I obviously have to do the math up front and look at the exchange rate as of today, how much that is relative in US dollars, let's just call it $7,000 USD. I can go out and purchase about $7,000 worth of a US stock in my TFSA and it will actually convert it automatically. It will settle up for me at the end of the day as the night turns over. Uh, it will take those Canadian dollars and settle up your balances. Now important to note here is that if you are using a margin account, Okay, so a margin account, a taxable account. I'm gonna circle this one because I know for a fact people will you know, make mistakes here. This does not automatically convert for you. In fact, you have to go in prior and convert your funds. What you'll actually do in this case is you might actually buy the US stocks on margin, essentially borrow dollars, which unless you're purposely doing that, may not be what you're looking for. If you have a margin account, you can go into your brokerage account. There's going to be an option to convert funds again at that fee that they charge. You can essentially convert however many Canadian dollars into US dollars. Once you have that in the account, then you can go ahead and use those dollars to purchase US stocks. But do keep in mind for a margin account, that is something to be aware about. Also with you know TD, for example, another brokerage I use, I also convert my funds prior, but in many cases like Wealthsimple or uh, Questrade, they'll actually do that automatically for you in certain accounts. So just look into that depending on what account you have, but that's option number one and that's probably the most simple one that you're gonna come across. Number two is essentially the same concept. Like we're trying to achieve the same outcome of getting Canadian dollars into US dollars. And that's by using a strategy known as the Norbert's Gambit. Now the Norbert's Gambit like I said, does the exact same thing, but it can definitely help you minimize fees. And a good friend of the over from the channel over on Canadian in a t-shirt has done great videos on this. You can spend five, 10 minutes looking through this technique and seeing if it makes sense for you. Personally, for me, I get questions all the time why I don't do this. It's not worth my time. It's not worth the energy. This takes a few days to kind of journal your shares over. And in that time, things can happen with the share price. It's just not worth it for me. But for a lot of people that want to minimize the fees, these these for currency conversion fees, absolutely, you could do the Norbert's Gambit uh, technique, get your dollars into the appropriate currency, and then simply go out and buy the stock. That's option number two. Number three, this is a newer one but it is using what is known as a CDR or a Canadian Depository Receipt. And I've done videos on CDRs. You may be familiar with ADRs, American Depository Receipts, but we do have Canadian Depository Receipts as well. I'll link a couple videos on the channel if you'd like to go check that out. What's unique about a CDR is it can essentially give you exposure to a US investment, but wrapped in a Canadian form. And an example is I actually own Costco CDR. So I own Costco in the CDR format. The ticker is COST.NE, I believe it is. These actually trade on the NEO exchange, which is a Canadian exchange, FYI. They trade in Canadian dollars, but they do give you exposure to the US investment. They do bake in a 0.6% hedging fee that is charged every year. That's part of the product. And again, you'd learn a lot more about this if you go watch that video, but there are many benefits to using a CDR. For example, if you look at a stock's share price, the actual stock on the American um, market, typically they're a bit higher. 
with a CDR, you'll see that often a fraction of the price. So with smaller dollar figures, you can invest. And of course, you're not really paying this conversion fee up front because you can go out and buy these in Canadian dollars, assuming you have the Canadian dollars in your account. CDRs are a really ph phenomenal option. When I get the question, what is my thoughts on CDRs? Do I like it? Do I not like it? I love them. Like I said, I own a CDR and I don't really have a preference. If you want to go buy the CDR version, you want to go buy, um, you know, the American ticker, as long as it's a good company, I think both options are really, really phenomenal. Number four, this is using a, oops, a US dollar account. Now, again, it'll depend on what uh, brokerage you're using, but to speak from my personal experience, for example, in my TD brokerage account, direct investing, I have a Canadian dollar account. I also have a US dollar account. And if you looked at my holdings, the US dollar account is where I buy all my US stocks. The Canadian dollar account is where I buy my Canadian stocks. And what's cool about this option is that if you are an investor that has US dollars, let's say you have a US bank account, or you just you know have a bunch of money in, in USDs for whatever reason, you can deposit that directly into the US dollar account and avoid any additional fees. You understand what I'm saying? Our objective with all of these is to get our currency in the right denomination or the right, you, you know the word I'm looking for, yeah, denomination so that we can go out and buy them on the US exchange. Well, if we already have US dollars and our brokerage allows it, you can bypass this fee, you can skip all the annoying journaling and all that time and just go straight into your US dollar account. Once the money hits your account, feel free to go buy uh, US stocks within that account. Obviously, you're gonna pay a commission if your broker charges a commission, but you'd be saving a ton on currency conversion fees. So that's option number four. And option number five to finish this off, I'd be remiss if I didn't add this one in, but this is of course using an ETF, an exchange traded fund, uh, an index fund, some may call it, but there are a ton of amazing options for Canadians, a uh, few to throw up as examples. You could buy VFV, you could buy VOO, you could buy, XEQT, there are so many, literally million jillions of different uh, ETFs out there that will give you exposure to the US market. Many of them traded here in the Canadian market. You can go buy them on the US market, obviously. Um, that's your preference. I've also done videos on that if you guys want to go dig them up on the channel. But for most investors who are saying, I want this US exposure, how should I go about getting it? this is likely your best bet. On top of that, here in Canada as a bonus, most brokerages will not even charge you a commission when you purchase ETFs. This is a strategy that works so well for our investors. I know it doesn't feel maybe the same as going on buying the stock directly, which again, we talked about for most of these options, but this is such a great way of getting that exposure via an ETF. Very, very hard to go wrong there. But these are all what I would say are, are very stellar options. Do I have a preference? Uh, for me personally, I typically go with this one and I'm just speaking for myself. I know a lot of people who like to do this or like to do this or have a US dollar account. They're all good options and I wanna highlight them for you and then you can look at your own situation and say, hmm, well, what makes the most sense for me? If you enjoyed the quick video, give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe, of course, for more content. And if you are a Canadian and you are new to the stock market, well, of course, Information like this and so much more is available through our training course at the Investing Academy. There's a link down below. We've worked with thousands of Canadians across the country teaching them how to invest DIY style from start. If you are new to the market and you want some training, you kind of want to fast track your learning experience, you can click the link down below to learn about that. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. I mean, where can you even start? A lot of people who don't really know people who do stocks found like a place to talk more about it and socialize and learn more from each other. From different perspectives, uh, different age groups, different experiences from, you know, day trading to long-term investing. The app is, is one of the best places because we got 18,000 on the app, probably the most positive investing community you're going to find in Canada. I can see what other investors are investing because right now I'm new. It's not just restricted to just one age, like, you know, there's everyone here from all walks of life. The biggest part about Blossom is the community. Met so many, like, new people already. I like that you get to get ideas from other people. Come join Blossom. I mean, who knows, a little road trip to Calgary, boys, or what?